All right, hi guys. Today we're going to be creating a pizza box. Um, my name is Katie, or KB Does Art, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and start off with a cube. So go ahead and grab that guy. Go ahead and go over here into the attribute editor where it says polycube one, and we're gonna do six by 0.8 by six. And then you're gonna do the same on division. So do like six, uh, two, and six should be good. There we go. All right, let's go into face mode. First things first is we're gonna try and hollow out this pizza box. So select only these top faces. There we go. Do Command E or Control E, and you're going to hold Control and offset them in, let's do like 0.2. And then go ahead and extrude again. So Command or Control E, and then click W and you're going to press them into the mesh. Now don't go so far so that it turns black. Um, that means you went through your bottom polygons, so just go like maybe around there. All right, that's looking pretty good. Um, so I think next what I really just want to do is uh, let's duplicate that object. So go into object mode and then um, in the outliner you can see it listed as P cube one. You're going to do command or control D and you'll have another one just like that. Before we do anything, uh, click on P cube two in the attribute editor. And let's rotate it um, like 90 degrees so that it's upright. We'll edit it a little bit later too. Um, and then let's just click W and move it on over. We are probably going to end up scaling it a little bit. Um, yeah, actually, let's do that now. Go ahead and just click R and scale it in so that it fits into the like actual part of the box. And then let's click E. We're going to rotate it down and then go ahead and have it clipping this mesh like that. All right, and then probably going to have mine like that kind of angle. So then just move it in and then push it down kind of as needed. You can decide how you want to clip it on the side, like what you think is the most realistic version of it. All right, I'm thinking that looks pretty good. Next thing you're gonna do is select both of those objects holding shift with both of them and do mesh, do mesh combine. So that now they're one object. Next, you're gonna go into edge mode and hold shift and double click all these edges that are just like, kind of like 90 degree edges. If you accidentally select one, you can get rid of it by holding control and double clicking again. So you're gonna wanna select all these 90 degree angles. You can see I'm grabbing all of them pretty quickly. Even the inside ones in the box, you wanna make sure you get all of those guys. Oh, and then also don't forget this part of the inside box as well, and the outside parts, so like that. And then get those top edges like that. Get that top edge. All right, make sure you got all the inside ones. Oh, I missed this one. Make sure you have all the bottom ones. And then once you think you've got them all, um, you're just gonna do Control B to bevel those guys. I'm gonna do two segments and then you can kind of like click three and see how it smooths out. Um, oh, okay, it looks like I missed one. So grab this edge and bevel that one at two segments. And then let's see how it smooths out a bit. Oh, I missed this one as well. Hopefully you guys are better at finding those edges. <laughs> um, all right, there we go. Kind of tightened up those edges a bit, which is nice. Um, oh, I missed this one on the inside. You can kind of tell when you miss one because it'll look a little odd when you um, click on click three on your keyboard between subdivision surfaces and not. <laughs> um, all right, I'm thinking that looks pretty good. So um, that's kind of just like a basic uh, pizza box. I don't really need it to be super detailed or anything for the model that I'm using it for. Um, so I'm gonna leave it as that. Um, 
But if you guys, you know, need any advice on how to add some fun details to it, um, totally feel free to shoot me an email um, and I can get back to you on kind of what I think is like the best way to add in those details. Um, but yeah, uh, next tutorial we're going to be making um, the pizza, obviously, to go inside. So um, stay tuned for that. Bye, guys.